Hey everyone, my name is Nathan Payne. Welcome back to another episode of Blotion Crypto. So today I want to talk about how to maximize your airdrop when it comes to hamster combat. This is definitely not just a simple clicker. There's a lot of nuances. I want to make sure you guys are maximizing the amount of coins that you're collecting and earning on your profit per hour. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Okay, so a couple important things I want to note right away off the bat. So your profit per hour is the most important thing. We've been told that this is going, to, is going to be the primary variable when it comes to determining your airdrop. If you actually tap on the little eye up here, you can see that it is only a maximum of three hours. Now I mentioned this in my other video as well. So you need to at least make sure you're logging in every three hours other than when you're sleeping, you know, so that you're not wasting this profit per hour. Now, another important thing is there's these boosts down here on the right. You do have free daily boosters. There's six energy per day. They'll recharge once per hour, so you can actually go through them relatively quickly. Uh, also, as far as the multi-tap and energy limit goes, it's not really worth it. You know, in retrospect, I probably, there's no need for me to level these up. The reason being is because if we take a look here, my maximum energy is 7,000. That's only 7,000 points, but I'm getting almost 700,000 per hour. It just super dwarfs the amount that I can actually tap. So I would argue it's not really a good investment to do that. Another couple tricks with actually tapping, I like to use the Tai Chi crane, you know, all five fingers. You just kind of put it right on top. You can do that. You can also use two hands with these three fingers. It does kind of depend on how big your screen is, you know, so this is kind of allowing me to get six fingers instead of the five. That's been the easiest way for me to actually get the taps done. Even though I did just say it doesn't feel like it's worth doing it, I'm still going to do it every time I log into the app anyways. It's kind of fun. Now, here, another very important thing. On the bottom right, there is the Earn tab. Make sure you're constantly checking this because not only is there a daily reward, sometimes the videos will change. Now, it's important to understand the way that these videos work. You have to watch them, and I have tested it. You actually do have to watch it start to finish. Then you're going to want to wait an hour or two to come back, and there'll be a little bo box at the bottom that says Check. So essentially, you watch it, leave it alone, come back an hour or two, check, then you'll get the reward. As far as the tasks lists go below, once you do them, that's pretty much it. You know, they're done. There's also the friends tab. Now this is important to note. Sometimes this isn't always working. There's been a lot of people I've referred I didn't get credit for, some that I was surprised I did. Don't stress too much about that. It's still worth doing. You can hit the invite and friend bottom down below, or you can hit the copy tab and just post the link. Some of the unlocks that you need in this game actually require that you have some referrals. So I would argue do what you can to try to get to nine simply because that's where you're going to unlock all the stuff in the game. Now, the next thing I want to go over is up at the top, you can see there's daily reward, daily cipher, daily combo. Now, daily combo is the most important because you're getting five million coins a day when you do this. Now, every day when this resets pretty quickly somewhere online is going to post and tell you what the combo is. There is a hamster combat Reddit. That's a great place to go to figure out these combos. Also, people seem to be pretty quick uploading videos with the new day's combos as well. So make sure you don't miss out on this. You will notice sometimes some of these requirements require the ones that take referrals. So there might be some days you kind of feel like you're stuck. Oh, crap, I can't do the combo because I didn't get six referrals or three or nine. So that can happen. Don't stress too much about it. And then the other thing is there's a daily cipher. And this is kind of like Morse code. So there's a tap, a tap and a hold, which is a dash. Basically, it's going to be combinations between the tap and dashing. Same thing. People are sharing this online. Generally, just do a quick internet search. You're going to figure out these ciphers. So every day, you're going to want to do the daily combo, the daily cipher. That's 6 million additional coins. That is going to fast track you so quickly to the earnings in this. You really have to be on top of it. Now, another important thing, and this is really, I would say, kind of the pro tip. You might notice when you're looking through here, there's four different categories. There's PR and team, markets, legal, and specials. Now, the first three are all similar. They kind of just have these cards, you know, and there'll be some requirements to unlock them. I have everything unlocked now, but you'll see it'll show you. You might need level three in short squeeze or level 10 in this. So I do recommend kind of working through getting them unlocked. But specials are unique because these, they're called cards. There's also new cards. So you can see here, oh, this is actually the last one I don't have unlocked. I need margin trading level 10. And then I can get NFT collection launch. Now, 
there is a question well the lambo and the joe rogan like they don't give you any profit per hour is it even worth it that's up to you some people are speculating yeah it's going to matter but i would argue focus on your profit per hour first before you go spending frivolously kind of on these extra ones however there are some missed opportunities there's things that expire right and then you can't get them anymore now there's a couple important things to note about that because you can see here quarterfinals are coming up top it expires in two hours you can level it up you're generally getting more profit per hour than you cost but you do want to be aware there is a timer on that so it's not something necessarily that you're going to permanently be able to keep now generally this is where the best profit per hour resides so i'll just name a couple here that are really really good so this cx hub istanbul is a really good one the hamster green energy is another incredible one tg leaders as well Tawn plus hamster combat equals success. Consensus Piranha Pass is another really good one. Let's keep going down here. Villa for the dev team. Bandoff is Bogdanoff is calling and USDT on Tron. Now you can kind of figure this out because if you just look how much am I spending versus how much do I get profit per hour, you can kind of map out what the best ones are. So don't really level them all willy nilly. You want to try to focus on the very best. And I'll point out a couple top ones over here. In legal, it's a lot of the different licenses that are the best. So not all of them necessarily though, but you can see there are some like license Ethiopia is giving me 15.5 thousand an hour japan's giving me 22.5 thousand vietnam is 23,000. you know there's some pretty crazy ones in here as far as the licenses go so that's kind of the main important ones under legal uh when you go over to markets the only ones in markets in my opinion that are really worth it are all of the margin trading and derivatives so those are the ones that are the best now i did kind of level up a lot of the other things too because i was playing around in the game tinkering seeing if the profit per hour was li scaling linear exponentially you know so kind of if i had a fresh account i would know you know stick with the margin trading stick with the derivatives here in market and then pr team you know i'll just go down here there is i believe just a few in here that are okay uh the consensus explorer pass and welcome to amsterdam those are kind of the only ones specials are where you're going to get the highest rewarding ones this is the best then some of the legal and then you're, you're kind of working your way actually backwards from right to left on the ones that are most important don't worry about leveling something too high because it's going to get your combo the next day just keep pushing through because you're going to get that profit power so freaking high that it's going to outweigh the need to save coins don't save coins guys there's no point put them into your profit per hour, get things rocking. And I'm actually having a lot of fun. I'm really curious to see where this is going to go. We've got something like close to nearly 4% of the entire world's population onboarded with this right now. It's the fastest Web3 adoption we've ever seen in human history. We would have figured it would have been freaking hamsters. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for being subscribed to the channel. Do me a favor and smash that like button. And we'll see you all in the next video. Cheers.